Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Pixel Dust here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a fairly simple redstone entrance using a redstone torch key. So, the first things you're going to want to get out is your redstone dust, your redstone repeaters, your sticky pistons, a torch, and a block of choice to build with. So I'm going to be using purple concrete. You can use whatever you want. Now, the, the first thing we're going to do here is dig in. One, two, three, four, five. And the second thing is dig across eight. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and enable to fit all the redstone in. You're going to want, uh, let's give ourselves four blocks up. So you'll have a four by four, uh, hold up, four by eight, four by eight by five. Okay, sorry, I kind of, kind of stumped myself there. So first thing we're going to do is to cl just clear all this out. I couldn't figure out how to cut anything out using the software I'm using, so sorry that you have to suffer through me building, uh, breaking, I mean. So, all right. Now, the first uh, out of all these five blocks, the the one that's against the wall is still gonna be the wall once it's finished. This device is gonna be flush with the wall. So I'm gonna get out red concrete to designate this as the wall. Okay. So now, get out your block of choice. Here, to here directly to like two away one block in between this wall and here now boop. and there we go that's all our blocks for this little part now place a piece of redstone dust right here and right here and get out a repeater and place it here and set it to two ticks delay perfect now place a piston right here place a redstone torch here get out your wall block and set it right on the piston, and it should jam the piston open. But when you place a redstone torch, it quickly flicks, and sending, as you can see, a small little pulse right here. Okay. Now, coming directly off the side of this, I'm gonna set a block of choice here with a re oh no, a repeater, at one tick delay. Yes. Okay. Uh. And then a repeater at one tick delay going into that. And this wall is going to be the wall of the interior of the base. So I'm going to use the red... I'm going to use the red line sort of trick to designate this little area as a wall as well before I go any further. Uh, and then just give ourselves a little bit more space inside. So I'll be able to fully complete the area so I can actually show you when to start just doing whatever you want because the redstone fits between this wall and this wall. But you're, you are going to want to know where to actually put the wall. There used to be a big old thing here. I accidentally made a way bigger area than I ever would have intended. But it is... it's whatever. So... I believe we'll just keep breaking this. <sighs> the area I'm in it right now is going to be the interior of the base. So, like, once the redstone's all done, you can do whatever you want, absolutely, here. So, let's just put the interior wall right here. And then you'll put a button going right into this here repeater. So this is what you should have so far. Now when you press that repeater, uh, huh? Oh wait, I forgot that the part that doesn't activate from that button. <laughs> Oops. All right. So now what you're gonna want to do is take out your dropper and your hopper. This part's, this is like the easiest part. One, like coming off like the side of this repeater and then one to the right. One, two, three. Um, four. 
Oops. Now go right under that block you just placed. Drop her facing directly down. Straight over to you. Oh my god. I went too far from the repeater. Uh, here we are, I think. Okay, yes. Uh, so you're supposed to be straight in front of this repeater. That's my bad, sorry. Uh, drop her facing down. Drop her facing to you. And drop her facing up. Perfect. Now, and place a hopper going straight into the downwards dropper. We can cover this up now, I guess. Now, coming right off of this dropper, we are going to put a tr we're going to put a transparent object coming off the bottom dropper. Preferably, I don't actually I still don't know if you actually have to do that or if it makes a difference, but I prefer to. And then place a comparator there. I'm going to get out a different block of choice for this part. Actually, since this part, I believe, is actually exposed from the inside. So we're going to get what you want. So you're going to get the interior block, which I'll, I'll, which is quite concrete in this case. And then, the block that this comparator goes into, right, will have a repeater going out of it. And then you can have a and then coming straight out of that repeater, so just crouch place, you have this little horseshoe-like shape. And then on both sides of the horseshoe, excluding the middle, one, two, one, two. Now get out your repeater and put one right here and make sure it's at two ticks delay. Oh, and repeaters are at one tick delay as soon as you place them. There is no zero tick. I was confused with that at, at the very first. Now, you're going to get your sticky pistons back, and underneath the one to my left in this case, one, two, three, four, and right here, one, two. So now, oh, let's actually put the wall block right here. So now when I get up my redstone torch and set one right here, Oh, I forgot, I forgot to put an item in the hopper. <laughs> there. Now, by default, it should be like that. But when I press that, it'll disable that. So let's clean up this area a little. Um. So now when I press this button, it should shut that all down. So now, uh, have this closed for right now, because while this is closed, this is when you get to completely fill this up, this area up. Just fill the wall right up. And for showcasing purposes, I am going to put a different block right here, just so I don't forget where I actually built this thing. Uh. Let's just make it an emerald, and I can. I guess I can replace that, and you can just close it the exact same way that you open it. So let's go on in here, and then close it by pressing the button. And then what I tend to do is get out my sea lantern because it tends to go good with the bases that I tend to make. Set it right here, and then. Coming off of this redstone wire right here, place a redstone torch. This will disable the redstone torch, because while the redstone's on, and then, you can finish your wall, place the block right here, and two right here, and then on all those three blocks right here, redstone dust. Now you can just place your floor block here and here. And this is where I like to get an iron door, turn around, and place it right here. That way, when you... Oh, pfft. Uh, it should open them both at once, and then press that. Lovely. So that right there is the entire mechanism completed. Now that you're in your secret base, you can do whatever you want with this place. It's entirely up to you. I can, I have no control whatsoever over what you do here, build out of whatever block you want, you know, just make your own little bunker. 
So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. That was it for today. So, you can put this in pretty much anywhere. Anywhere you have a flat little cliff area that has a nice 8x5x5 little area. Well, just an 8x5 area on the flat side of a cliff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in my next one. See you guys later.